20 Public Transport Etiquette Rules You Should Remember Most people are taught basic manners in their childhood. Our parents teach us to give up our seat for an older person, not to make too much noise, and respect other people's space. But some people grow up and seem to completely forget the rules of behavior on public transport. Well, if you aren't going to be fined or sued for these violations, why bother? However, sometimes a reproachful look or a fellow passenger's angry remark can be the worst punishment. Here are 20 things you shouldn't forget when you're on public transport. But first of all, hit the red subscription button and ring the notification bell. These actions will take you to the bright side of life where you'll find loads of cool videos. You'll also be the first to find out about daily updates on the channel. 20. Don't hold up the line This recommendation is especially relevant for transportation that involves verification of identity and presentation of personal documents. This often happens on trains, international buses, and airplanes. Get all the necessary papers ready in advance. Make sure you have your passport and medical insurance if it's needed. This way, when the time comes to show everything to the authorities, you won't annoy other people with the infamous, uh, wh where is it gone? I, I just had it in my hands. At a security checkpoint at the airport, take off your watch, belt, and shoes in advance. Make sure it's easy to pull your laptop out of your bag. Split up the necessities before leaving home by putting some of them into your carry-on bags and others into your suitcase. This will make going through security and boarding the plane much faster and more comfortable. 19. Prepare the things you need for your trip in advance If you know that a long bus or train journey is ahead of you, prepare everything you need beforehand. You might need snacks, gadgets, documents, money, and maybe a book. Now you won't have to disturb your fellow passengers by forcing them to stand up in a moving vehicle. Don't forget that other passengers want a place for their hand luggage too. Manufacturers of long-distance aircraft and buses reduce the space allocated for luggage to save money. At the same time, the amount of luggage passengers usually have for a long trip is quite extensive. If you have several bags, place them on the luggage shelf vertically so they occupy less space. Make sure there's free space for other passengers' belongings. If there isn't, move some of your luggage under your seat. 17. Offer help to your travel companions If you offer your travel companions help putting their luggage in the overhead compartment, you'll not only earn their respect, but also significantly reduce the time it takes other passengers to board. Not to mention that it's the duty of any self-respecting person to help the elderly, pregnant women, and people with disabilities. 16. Take off your backpack or bulky purse when you enter public transport. If you have a large backpack or a filled-to-the-brim purse, take it off your shoulder and hold it in front of you. This will also help you keep your personal belongings in sight, reducing the chance of something being stolen from your bag. 15. Don't comb your hair or apply makeup in a public place. It's not acceptable to put on makeup or comb and tie up your hair in a public place. It seems that girls try to save time by applying their makeup in a subway car on their way to work. Sorry, it doesn't work this way. Also, if you prefer strong perfume, use it after you leave public transport. 14. Ask people if they need assistance before you help them. If you want to help a stranger, especially someone with limited physical capabilities, to enter a vehicle, remember to ask if they need your assistance. Perhaps your fellow passenger feels more comfortable and safe managing things on their own. 13. Be attentive to people with kids It's a matter of good manners to offer your seat to a mother holding a baby. And if you see a parent with a 5-year-old child, it might be a good idea to offer them your seat so they can both sit down. But perhaps a 12-year-old child is perfectly capable of enduring a 20-minute train or bus trip standing up. 12. Teach your kids the rules of travel etiquette If your children learn the rules of behaving on public transport before a trip, you'll save your nerves and the nerves of the people around you. Teach your kids to try to be quiet. Explain to them how to behave in a public place and why it's a bad idea to cry and nag. Perhaps you can reward them for their good behavior at the end of the journey. 
11. Be ready to offer your seat. This doesn't mean that you should give up a comfortable seat you booked in advance for a person who didn't prioritize their comfort and bought a ticket at the last minute. But if you're traveling alone and family members were unlucky and didn't get to sit next to each other, offer them the opportunity to swap seats. 10. Don't take food with a strong smell on a trip. Some people are extremely sensitive to smells, and you can imagine what will happen if you unwrap an odorous snack in an enclosed bus or train. The list of products that are unpleasant for bystanders include smoked products, sandwiches with canned fish, tuna or sardines, sausages, boiled eggs, and sauerkraut. Fast food, by the way, also has a sharp smell. Instead, stock up on fresh and dried fruits, nuts, yogurt, cereal bars, or cookies. 9. Don't make loud sounds that might irritate others. These loud sounds include your smartphone ringing every two minutes, a movie you're watching on a tablet, music on your phone, a mobile game, or a loud conversation with a neighbor or on the phone. First of all, use headphones for all activities you engage in on your phone in a public place. Secondly, before starting a conversation, make sure you won't bother anyone around you and keep your voice quiet. 8. Be careful when reclining your seat. Whether you're able to get some sleep on your journey depends on the type of transport. For example, you probably won't fall asleep in a subway car. On long-distance trains, buses, and airplanes, it's usually possible to recline your seat if you want to have a nap. However, due to the lack of space, the passenger sitting behind you might ask you not to do this. In this case, an orthopedic pillow will be of great help. Such pillows will help you get a proper rest without disturbing your neighbors. 7. Keep your umbrella closed In the rainy season, public transport becomes even more cramped. In addition to bags, each passenger has to take an umbrella with them. When you're about to enter public transport, close, open, and then close your umbrella again. Shake it out a few steps away from other people. When you get inside, keep your umbrella in the fully closed position, so as to not drip on yourself or your neighbors. Keep it low. 6. Avoid displays of affection on public transport. Consider the feelings of others and the example you're setting to children who are on board. And don't forget about common decency. 5. Don't rush when you leave a vehicle. There's only one thing people want to do faster than enter a vehicle, and that's leave it. In any case, you shouldn't forget about etiquette. Help those who need assistance, for example, pregnant women, the elderly, and people with disabilities. And make way for those who run like there's a fire. Maybe there really is one. In addition, crowding near the exit is a dubious venture not worth a safe 20 seconds. 4. Remember the golden rule of the escalator. This rule is as follows. Stand on the right, walk on the left. Unless you're in the UK, of course. In this case, do the opposite. Now you won't be an obstacle for people who are in a hurry. 3. Don't try to occupy another person's space. On trips, especially long ones, passengers are often aware of the lack of space. It can be a bit uncomfortable for two people to share one armrest. In any case, make sure that you and your belongings do not interfere with other passengers. Don't stretch your legs, don't touch the people sitting in front of you, and don't place your luggage between the seats or under your neighbor's feet. 2. Keep newspapers folded Keep newspapers and large magazines folded so as not to disturb other passengers. Alternatively, you can save them for when you're in your office or at home. You can always read a book while you commute. 1. Don't stare at people No matter how fascinating your neighbor's book, newspaper, face, or clothes are, don't stare at them. It's rude, and it can make the person you've chosen for your intent examination extremely uncomfortable. What are some other things that people do in public transport that irritate you beyond belief? Share your feelings in the comments below. If you think some people had better watch this video and learn their etiquette lessons, hit the like button. And remember to subscribe to our channel. Life is always more polite and cheerful on the bright side.